What's going on everybody? Ryan's Baseball Roundup here, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you my predictions for how every team in the MLB is going to do in this coming season. I'm going to tell you who's going to win the World Series, in my opinion, and who's going to win every division. So subscribe to the channel if you're new, like the video if you like, enjoy these type of videos, and comment down below which team you think is going to win the World Series, and let's get straight into the video. Alright, the first division we're going to talk about in today's video is the NL West. And we're going to be going from last place to first place for every division. So last place I got the Colorado Rockies. This one's kind of a no-brainer. They don't really have much pitching other than Herman Marquez. And then on the offense side, they got Charlie Blackman and Trevor Story. And that's about it. And don't be surprised if they trade Trevor Story because I don't think they can afford to re-sign a big extension with him. And I also don't think they're going to obviously be competitive. So don't be surprised if they trade him at the deadline and get a haul of prospects to start their rebuild. Fourth place, we got the Arizona Diamondbacks. This is mainly because I don't really trust their offense. They have Christian Walker, Nick Ahmed. They're not, they're okay. So, and then their pitching, Zach Gallen got hurt. And they still have Bumgarner. But we'll see if he can have a bounce back season. Third place, we got the San Francisco Giants, my favorite team. This is mainly because... They have a loaded lineup, in my opinion. You look at Solano, Yastrzemski, Belt had a career year last year. Dickerson had another good year. Slater had a good year. Their outfield is pretty underrated, in my opinion, when you look at Slater, Dickerson, and Yastrzemski. Second place, we got the San Diego Padres. I think in most divisions in baseball, they would be a first place team. But it's just because when you got the Dodgers in that division, it's really hard to get first. You look at the moves they made in the offseason, adding Mark Melanson, nice move to bolster that bullpen, and then trading for Blake Snell and Hugh Darvish, who are both like all-star and sometimes Cyan caliber pitchers, and then they still got the Nelson Lament. And you look at the lineup, they got Grisham, Machado, Hosmer, Tatis, obviously. Cronenworth had a good year. This team is a really well-balanced team. And then first place, you look at the Dodgers. They already won the World Series last year, and they added on to that with Trevor Bauer. You know this team is scary when Dustin May might not even make the opening day rotation. Their rotation is obviously the best in baseball with Trevor Bauer, Clayton Kershaw, Walker Buehler, David Price even opted out of the season last year. This is obviously the best team in baseball. The next division we got is the NL Central. Last place, we got the Pittsburgh Pirates. The Pittsburgh Pirates... Traded away Josh Bell, and, and pretty much all they have to look forward to, I'm sorry Pirates fans, is Cabrian Hayes. I think he's going to do really well this year, and possibly even win Rookie of the Year. We'll see. Fourth place, this is probably going to come as a surprise to most people, but I got the Chicago Cubs. I know they have a loaded lineup, but this is because of their lack of pitching in the starting rotation and in the bullpen. Craig Kimbrell had a down year last year, and when you look at their starting rotation, it's Kyle Hendricks, and then after that, it just kind of falls off. They've re-signed, or they got Jake Arrieta back, but Jake Arrieta is not the pitcher he used to be back when he was originally on the Cubs and won a Cy Young Award, so I gave them fourth because I don't trust their pitching, but obviously their lineup's loaded with Baez, Bryant, Rizzo, and then you also got Ian Happ. So third place, I got the Cincinnati Reds. This is because I like their 1-2 combo in the starting rotation. Obviously, I really like Luis Castillo. I think he's very underrated. I think he could contend for a Cy Young Award this year. Don't be surprised if he does. Sonny Gray is hurt, but he's going to be ready in a couple weeks into the season. And then the line, most of the guys in their lineup last year had a down year, so I think they'll bounce back. You got Moustakis, Castellanos, Eugenio Suarez, and then, yeah, so then second place I gave to the St. Louis Cardinals. They obviously added Nolan Arenado, so you're probably confused why I gave them second. But this is because I don't really like their pitching staff. They got Jack Flaherty, who can be shaky, shaky at times, and then falls off after that. But I do like their bullpen with Gallegos and Alex Reyes. And obviously getting Jordan Hicks back, he throws like 103, so that's going to be good for them. First place, I got the Milwaukee Brewers. This is because I feel like they're the most well-balanced team in this division. They obviously have like probably the two best relievers in baseball with Devin Williams and Josh Hader. Last year, Devin Williams had a .33 ERA, which is just insane. And then he won Rookie of the Year also. 
And then Lorenzo Cain opted out of the season last year, so that kind of hurt them. I think Kielich is going to have another MVP-type season. And then Keston Hero is going to move to first base, and he usually hits bombs. So I like this team to get first place in the NL Central. NL East, I got the Marlins in last place. This is because they're a really young team, and I think they're still developing their players. I really do like Sixto Sanchez, though. I think he's going to be a star in this league at some point. And they obviously did trade for Starling Marte at last trail deadline, who I also like. Fourth place for the NL East, I got the Philadelphia Phillies. This is because their pitching kind of falls off in after Aaron Nola. I don't really know who, who you would give the ball to and trust in like a big game for them. And then their bullpen, they did add Archie Bradley, which I like. But I still don't trust Hector Neris very much. And I like their lineup, though. They re-signed JT Realmuto, which was a big boost to the lineup. Harper, and then I think Reese Hoskins. People forget what he did a couple years ago. Because last year, he had Tommy John surgery. So I think he'll have a good year. I got the Nationals in third place. This is because they have a just outstanding rotation. You look at Max Scherzer, Steven Strasburg, Patrick Corbin. And then they even added on John Lester, who's just insane as a fourth starter. Because on most teams, he would be like a three or a two. Because most teams don't have good rotations. But when he's your fourth starter, you know you're doing good. And then you got Trey Turner, Juan Soto. I really like this team, even though they're in third place. This is just because this is a very tough division. Second place, this is probably going to come as a surprise. I got the Atlanta Braves. I just feel like they got second because their bullpen is not as good as the New York match to me. And I feel like it's going to come down to their bullpen because even though they signed Drew Smiley and Charlie Morton, I feel like the Mets have a really good starting rotation also. But we'll see. So first place, we got the New York Mets. I really like the moves to trade for Francisco Lindor and Carlos Carrasco. I think that's going to make a big impact on their team, and it's really going to help them out. So I gave them first place. That's probably like my boldest prediction on this video so far. So now we're going to start off with the American League teams. First division we got is the AL West. I got the Texas Rangers in fifth place. Texas Rangers fans, you don't really have much to look forward to other than Joey Gallo just absolutely going off this year. Their rotation is just terrible. It's probably like one of the worst in baseball. Their ace is Kyle Gibson, which is not good. Fourth place, we got the Mariners. The Mariners aren't far off from being good. They have a ton of great prospects in the system. Like when you look at Taylor Trammell, Jared Kalnick, Julio Rodriguez. I think some of those guys get called up this year, and they have a good season. But I think their team is still very young and still trying to develop talent. So I think that they're just not there yet for me to really get high up in this division. Third place, we got the Los Angeles Angels. We obviously know that their lineup is stacked when you look at Mike Trout, Shohei Otani, Anthony Rendon, Jared Walsh. I still don't trust their pitching staff. I was hoping they would going to sign Trevor Bauer to really make that team a World Series contender. But they're still beyond Dylan Bundy. They don't really have much. Griffin Canning, Patrick Keeney, those pitchers are kind of eh for me. So they got third. Second place in the AL West, we got the Houston Astros. They have Granky, Jose Arquiti. So I like their rotation, even though and Framber Valdez is going to come back at some point, which I thought that was a big blow that he had a broken hand in spring training. And then their lineup, they still got all those mainstays from their 2017 World Series team. Obviously, losing George Springer is going to hurt. But they still have Carlos Correa, Alex Bregman, Jose Altuve, Yuli Gurriel. So I think their offense is still going to hold up. And then first place, I got the Oakland A's. This is because I feel like they're the most well-balanced in this division. When you look at, they got Frankie Montas, Jesus Lazardo, And then in the bullpen, they added Sergio Romo. And then in the lineup, you got Ramon Laureano, Matt Olson, Matt Chapman. So I like this team all around. And then we're going to start off with the AL Central. Last place, I got the Detroit Tigers. They have a lot of young, good pitchers developing the farm system. I like that they're going to give Casey Mize, who is the former number one overall pick um, a couple of years ago, a chance to get in the rotation. I think they're like a kind of similar situation with the Mariners, where they just have to wait for their prospects to develop, and they'll be good at some point. Fourth place, we got the Royals. The Royals had a sneaky good offseason, adding Carlos Santana, re signing Mike Miner. I think they're also a couple years away from being good, 
with Bobby Witt Jr. just having an amazing spring training. And then you look at they got Witt Merrifield. They gave Salvador Perez a contract extension. And then I think Brady Singer is also going to have a good year. Third place, we got the Cleveland Indians. I think that they're gonna really going to suffer from not having Francisco Lindor anymore in that lineup. It's pretty much like Jose Ramirez is going to have to carry the load on offense with possibly Fran Mil Reyes hopefully having a bounce back year after struggling last year. Their pitching is really going to have to carry the squad. When you look at Shane Bieber, their Cy Young Award, and then Tristan McKenzie is hopefully going to have a good year. And then second place, I got the Minnesota Twins. This is because I feel like the Chicago White Sox are just more loaded than them. The Minnesota Twins, don't get me wrong, they still have a really good team with re-signing Nelson Cruz as their DH. Max Kepler, Jorge Polanco, adding Angelton Simmons is going to help out. I also like their two top starters in Jose Barrios and Kenta Maeda. Now first place is the Chicago White Sox. They were already really good last year, and they added on Lance Lynn, which I think is going to really do wonders for Ju- Lucas Giolito because he's going to have like that veteran pitcher to sort of guide him in the way, so I like that. And then you, obviously you got Jose Abreu, Tim Anderson. Although it's going to hurt them that Eli Jimenez is out for like f- a couple months, I think like f- three or four months, with a, like a torn pectoral muscle, which I think that was really going to hurt them. But I still think they'll be able, when he comes back, they'll go on a run, and they'll be able to get first place in that division. Last division we got is the AL East. The last place team for that division is the Baltimore Orioles. The Baltimore Orioles, their rotation is just not it. I think their best pitcher is like John Means, which is not very good. Obviously, I think Ryan Mountcastle is going to have a good year. Um, I hope he does. And then Trey Mancini, hopefully he bounces back after having colon cancer. I really hope he has a good year. Fourth place, we got the Boston Red Sox. The Boston Red Sox, main issue for me is their rotation. Because it was just announced a couple of days ago that Eduardo Rodriguez is not going to be able to pitch on opening day because he has like an, an arm injury. So it's pretty much Nathan Avaldi right now is their number one starter, which is obviously not good. And then trading away Andrew Benatendi, losing Jackie Bradley Jr. They're really going to have to lean on their young hitters like Michael Chavis and obviously Bobby Dahlback had a really good spring training, and I wouldn't be surprised if he had a really good season this year. Third place, they made a lot of moves, Um, the Toronto Blue Jays. The reason why I have the Toronto Blue Jays at third is because Kirby Yates is out for Tommy John surgery. George Springer, I don't know if he's going to be ready for opening day, and it's just their starting pitching for me. They're starting pitching, like their ace right now, I don't really, after Hanjin Ryu, it's kind of questionable because... Like, Robbie Ray is hurt. Nate Pearson's hurt. So, I don't know. It's like Tanner Roark. Their pitching is just too much of a question mark for me. And then, second place, we got the Tampa Bay Rays, who made it to the World Series last year. For me, losing Blake Snell and Charlie Morton is really going to hurt their rotation. But I still got them in second place. Because Kevin Cash and that Rays front office, they know how to play the matchups correctly. They'll do, like, openers and stuff like that that would help them in the long run. So I got second place for them. First place, we got the New York Yankees. I think the New York Yankees are just stacked when they're adding, they traded for Jameson Tyon, and they signed Corey Kluber, a former Cy Young Award winner. I heard that Luke Voigt is going to be out for a couple months, but I still think they have enough depth to get first place in that division because their lineup is just stacked. When you look at Aaron Judge, Giancarlo Stanton, Clint Frazier, and yeah, so those are my grades, I mean my standings for the teams, so yeah. Okay guys, so that's going to wrap it up for the video. I hope you all enjoyed. I was going to do who I thought was going to win the World Series, but the video turned out a little bit on the long side, so I'm going to upload a separate video where I talk about who I think is going to win every playoff series and who I think is going to win the World Series. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, like the video. Other than that, this has been Ryan's Baseball Roundup, and I'm out. Peace.